Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you have an incoming call, a notification appears on screen indicating the source of the call. To answer the call, click the Accept with Video or Accept with Audio button in the notification. Which buttons are available depends on the source of the call. For example, an audio call from an outside line will not have an Answer with Video button from which to select. To decline the call and send it directly to voicemail, click the Decline Call button instead. Once a call begins, it will open in a new window with the Meeting Controls toolbar docked at the top of the window. The Meeting Controls toolbar contains tools to perform various actions during calls and meetings. At the left end of the toolbar is a running timer that displays the length of the current call. You can turn your camera on or off during a call. When the camera is off, a diagonal line appears across the camera button. When your audio is muted, a diagonal line appears across its button as well. To turn your camera on or off, just click the camera toggle button once. To mute or unmute your audio in a call, click the mute toggle button once. To share your screen with people in a video call so they can see the live activity on your computer, click the share content button in the toolbar. In the share tray that appears, you can click the include computer sound toggle button to let others hear your computer's audio if desired. Then select what to share, like your entire desktop to see everything on your screen, or a specific open window. The other participants can then see what you've shared on your screen until you stop sharing. We'll discuss screen sharing in more detail in the meetings chapter in this course. For now, note that if you start to share content and then change your mind, you can click the Hide Share Options button that replaced the Share Content button in the toolbar to hide the share tray. Near the middle of the buttons of the Meeting Controls toolbar is the More Actions Command ellipsis which lists additional commands you can select. You can click the Device Settings command to reveal the Device Settings pane to the right where you can manage your microphone and camera settings. Use the available drop-downs to make a different selection for an audio or visual device. To close the pane, click the Close button in the upper right corner of the pane or click the More Actions ellipsis in the Meeting Controls toolbar and select the Hide Device Settings command in the menu. You can click the Focus command from the More Actions ellipsis menu when someone is sharing their screen with you to maximize the amount of space Teams takes up within the window by temporarily hiding the video feeds at the bottom. To exit focus mode, simply click the More Actions ellipsis in the Meeting Controls toolbar again and click the Focus button again. To display the telephone keypad, which you can use to dial and navigate auto attendance in calls, click the More Options ellipsis and then select the Dial Pad command from the menu. You can put a call on hold by clicking the More Actions ellipsis in the toolbar and selecting the Hold command. The call is then placed on hold and a timer appears showing the length of time the call has been put on hold. To resume the call, click the Resume button that appears in the toolbar. To transfer a call to another team member, click the More Actions ellipsis and then select the Transfer command in the menu. Begin typing the team member's name in the Transfer the Call dialog box and then select the team member from the list that appears. To transfer the call directly to the team member's number, click the Transfer button. Alternatively, you can select to transfer the caller directly to the member's voicemail or an alternate phone number if available. To do so, click the small downward pointing arrow to the right of the Transfer button and then make a selection. As an alternative to a simple transfer, you can also consult with the individual to which you want to transfer the call before actually executing the transfer. To do this, click the More Actions ellipsis in the toolbar and then select the Consult Then Transfer command from the menu. In the Choose a Person to Consult dialog box, begin typing the name of the team member and then select them from the resulting list. Then click the Chat button. A consultation chat window then appears and displays the most recent text chat with the individual with whom you are consulting. You can continue to chat in the window in order to consult them. When you are finished consulting and ready to transfer the call, 
click the transfer button or click the downward pointing arrow and then make a selection to transfer the call to a specific number or the team member's voicemail. If you decide not to transfer, you can simply close the window. Doing this returns you to the original call without transferring. Also note that when you choose to consult and then transfer, you also can use the drop down next to the chat button to select Teams audio call if you would rather consult with the person over an audio call instead of a chat window. Also note that when you select the transfer or consult them transfer commands, the original call is placed on hold. To return to the call if needed, simply click the resume button. If the call you are making is a video call, three additional commands appear in the meeting controls toolbar when you click the more actions ellipsis. The apply background effects command lets you change the background in a video call or meeting. The start recording command lets you record a video call or meeting and the turn off incoming video command temporarily blocks any video being broadcast from the other person or other people. We will cover these commands in more detail in the meetings chapter. You can turn on live captions to make your calls more inclusive to participants who are deaf or hard of hearing. To turn live captions on, click the more actions ellipsis in the meeting controls toolbar and select the turn on live captions command from the menu. A black bar appears at the bottom of the window and Teams displays the captions live. To turn the feature off, click the More Actions ellipsis in the toolbar and then select the Turn Off Live Captions command. You can click the Show Conversation button in the Meeting Controls toolbar to open the chat pane to the right which allows you to chat with others within the pane while still displaying the full video call or meeting. To close the pane, Click the Hide Conversation button, which replaces the Show Conversation button in the toolbar, or click the Close button in the upper right corner of the pane. You can click the Show Participants button in the toolbar to open the Participants pane to the right, which displays all the current attendees. To invite someone else to join the call, begin typing the team member's name into the Type a Name field, and then select them from the resulting list, or enter a phone number to call, and then select it from the list. Teams will call the person to request that they join. To close this pane, click the Hide Participants button, which replaces the Show Participants button in the toolbar, or click the Close button in the upper right corner of the pane. The final button, at the far right end of the Meeting Controls toolbar in red, is the Leave button, which will automatically terminate an active call when clicked. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.